welcome to Comfort Time, Comfort Time with Auntie Unique. It's great to be with you again. Today's story is being judgmental. And I would like to share this story with you because I found myself in a situation where I was being judgmental and I really feel that I should know better. So the story I'm sharing happened to me because I just moved to a new area and I uh, was busy in the organization that I've belonged to for quite some time. But the people we knew, I was seeing them for the first time and uh, I was trying to learn how they behave, how they function and try to adjust within their um, community. So then we went for a meeting and at that meeting uh, this, this gentleman was uh, giving his report. The report was meticulous, he followed everything through and uh, we were um, impressed. But then when he was giving the second part of the report, someone asked him, or someone referred to something that he had missed out and you know the guy freaked out he was no longer that nice in, independent or comfortable person who had been giving the report he was insulting he was like who do you think you are you can question my work and you, you know he just freaked out and I couldn't believe what was happening before me. I had started getting along with that person and uh, I really thought they were more mature but the behavior they were displaying was so childish as far as I was concerned. And therefore I judged them to really be something worse than I thought. So I was like, okay, so what is really going on here? I counted on the leadership to stop him from their taxi and they didn't stop him and the person who was attacking also decided to give him a share so it became very difficult for me i watched felt disgusted felt angry and felt sad and i couldn't say anything i was not in leadership it was not my place but i decided okay i'm not going to sit here and listen to this so i excused myself and walked out and went away later on i was sent a message they said they wanted me to be involved in uh, reconciling the two but i really felt i was not in the headspace to not be judgmental that guy had behaved so badly and sitting with them the both of them even the other one was quite insulting so i felt i needed time to also recover from that display before i could sit with them and try to reconcile them and so i said no not now let someone else do it so the following month there was another meeting and those people picked up where they left off it was so bad that they were now suspended for one month. So for one month they couldn't uh, attend any of the functions of the group. And so I was told. So three weeks um, after, I was asked to prepare snacks for the um, group, a different group, but where those two still belonged. So they asked, they asked me to prepare the, um, the, the snacks, I did, and so we had the meeting. And at the meeting, that guy sat next to me. I didn't want him to, but he sat next to me and we got to talking. And then uh, someone else was presenting um, for that group. And he was like, um, you know, he started talking about that person. It's really good to see that this person is doing very well because they've really been through a hard time and um, blah, 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 blah. 
So I was just listening and thinking, <laughs> what does he mean? But eventually, you know, he stopped talking to me about that person and it turned on himself. Then he now started telling me horror stories about his life. And as he narrated what he had been through, it was then I had a light bulb moment. It made so much sense now. Now I understood why he, he got triggered when he was asked about the work that he, he thought was perfect and someone thought it was not that perfect. So that was a trigger for him. So now that time he was reacting to more than the report. He was reacting to other things that had happened to him before. Now I understood and I was ashamed that as a psychosocial counselor, I didn't pick up on it that first time when I saw that display. So I listened and listened and I asked that we speak after the meeting and they agreed. So after our meeting, we sat together over a cup of tea and we talked more. And it was then I was able to navigate and bring the story of what had happened that day. How it's important to be careful how you address other people. Otherwise, you just come out as a proud person, as someone who's aloof. And I say, you know, a lot of people didn't like you that day. I didn't like you that day. So, and he says, yes, I didn't like me that day. So I like, you see, that comes from not healing from past experiences. Clearly, what triggers you is from your previous work where your boss kept on picking on you even when you did your best. And now, when that lady asked a genuine question, you reacted to your boss of many years ago. So now, do you see that the need for healing? And these days, there's a lot of um, material on YouTube if you are not able or you don't have the time, go to YouTube and search those topics. They will teach you, they will encourage you, they will show you how to heal. Otherwise, there's um, therapy, there's counseling, there's so much that you need to do. Always bring your best foot forward. Because if you don't do that, you're hurting not only yourself, you're hurting others. Because when people look down on you, when people think you are a bad person, you are an aloof person, you are a proud person, then people shun you. When that is not what you want, all you wanted was to be heard. So do everything that needs to be done for you to give yourself a chance and others a chance to be heard. I hope this encourages you next time to look at critically look at your situation, ensure that you have healed from past experiences, seek ways of healing. If you're not going to go to YouTube, you can go to counseling. If you don't go to counseling, have a heart to heart talk with yourself. Be honest with yourself. And you find that you find the triggers and the next time that trigger presents itself, you'll be like, hell no, I'm not entertaining you. And that's how you heal. And next time you'll find those triggers, stop. So I hope this has helped you. I hope this encourages you. I hope you have subscribed. If you haven't, please do encourage not only yourself, but encourage others that you share the videos with. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.